Welcome to another Team Solo Circus Live Duel. Today we're going over Exo Sisters post uh, pre pot um, power of the elements, and then we're going with Sword Soul, but they don't change. They don't change. Before we get into the duel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So we're gonna see Exo Sisters going first here. They're going to normal summon one of the magiest monsters, the Fire, I believe. Um, it's going to equip a Link or a uh, a Link. Magicist and then special summon out another one, I believe. Or adds it to hand. Here we're gonna activate Exo Sister Special Summon itself because you control level four. Overlay those two into a um I guess I think that's Makia. The link is gonna fall off here. And it's gonna search for a spell card. You know, here we see Angus having to read all of them. We would have to do that as well. I'm not quite sure what they do. I know that they do stuff when you banish your cards from your graveyard. Here we're going to see a set two, a set three, and a pass. This deck gets a lot better going uh, going after um, Power of the Elements due to the fact that it uh, has the Martha card. Here we're going to see Pop Desires being activated. Banishing 10, and then we see a the trap card lets some XYZ summon if they pay 800. Something that's it's two of your uh, Stella, as well as I think that's Elise. I'm not quite sure. Two of them. We see an Adhara being activated, summoning itself out. You know, it gets a good deck versus uh versus Sword Soul because all the tenies activate in graveyard, so it's quite good. Here we're gonna see a spell being activated, you know, being able to XYZ summon. Going for the one with the bow here. You guys will have to let me know if this uh, if this is how the combo is supposed to be done. Because I, I have really no idea. I don't know what any of these cards do. Uh, not quite sure. Here we see Monk being made. Just double reading over what the, <laughs> the XYZs do. You know, they have lots of complicated effects here. The shoot is going to be activated here, you know, um, getting rid of the traps, plus summoning the Ecclesia here because they control more monsters than we do. Normal summon the Moe, revealing the uh, Emergence, getting out the token here. And here we're just thinking of what we're going to do, you know, making sure that they don't want to screw up a play and let, like, some major thing happen, which is what the problem with a lot of rogue decks is. Here we're going to make the Berserker here. Entering battle phase and attacking over it, getting the able to attack again and gain the attack. You know, being helpful to just get rid of all those monsters on the field. As well as Ecclesia being able to attack. It's interesting not to see Ecclesia. Oh, so Ecclesia effect is going to activate here in the battle phase. Um, or not in the battle phase. Here we're going to summon out the token. And be able to banish. You know, not having to uh, be worried about that. Um, those exorcists going out and here we see a baron being made and that's going to be a scoop you know knowing that they're not able to beat beat that it's going to unfortunately have to be game here you know exorcists are pretty cool um they are not very strong right now due to the fact that like they are missing a three of in their deck and that monster is so good martha is able to uh Activate just when a card itself is banished. 
Um, so just like it makes the deck, like you can start playing um, DD Crows and stuff like that to like trigger your opponent stuff as well as it being an interruption. So you're getting kind of like a two for one just from a DD Crow. You know, also DD Crow being really good next format. I can see that uh, Exo Sisters just to end up destroying, um, end up destroying versus chair elements and i think they're quite good against uh sprites as well because they can play cards like um like what fuandries plays they play uh what's that card called d shifter yeah that's the card you know being able to play d shifter and stuff like that's just so powerful And here we see pack being activated here, you know, paying 800 to search. Pretty much like a glorified rota. And we see a normal summon of the of the fire guy again, equipping the uh, a different one this time. Quipping the, oh, no, quipping the same Magistus. Getting out the second fire guy. Summoning out another one of the Exo Sisters. Activating the effect, I believe that's Eclise. She's like your main one if you're not going with Martha. Because you control the Nexus, she can push summon her out by paying 800. And then she gets like a cool effect i believe he was here searching for a trap card i want to say it's called valis but i truly do not know and we see a set of two cards and passing the deck is interesting because it also is like a back row deck it's like slow control deck we see a pot of desires off the top once again, and we're going to see a chain of the trap. This time, you know, are we seeing double? Getting out the two sisters here. Do not activate Cosmic Cyclone and uh, paying a thousand. And here, Pack's going to be responded in, to that Cosmic Cyclone, paying the eight hundred themselves to search for a a monster. And here we're going to see. Uh, it looks like a whole hand of monsters there. An Adhara being activated. Linking away into the monk. You know, not being able to activate that. Oh, here we're going to activate the Adhara. So, two effects are going to be activated to XYZ summon. I believe Magnificent is on along the field. Oh, no, no. So, Adhara is not being activated here. That He attempts to DD Crow the Adhara. And, uh... We're wondering if the effects here activate. They unfortunately do not, because... Um... DD Crow is not your opponent moving into the graveyard. It's you moving into the graveyard. So, here, they do not make that play. We see a special summon of an Ecclesia once again. And then a normal summon of a Moe. Really in the Vishuda getting out the token here. That's what's really good with Martha is that, uh, you know, it's able, DDD is able to trigger. You see Moe and the token go for the Chizau, Chizau effect, and Moe to draw as well as search, searching for the Long Young. Long Young, bitch, the Vishuda here. Able to sink her off into the Baron de Fleur. Baron's going to pop the, uh, I believe that's Stella. 
And then entering the battle phase here, Chi Da's going to attack into the um, XYZ Baron and the Ecclesia here is going to special summon itself away, going for the Taya. Acting effect, banishing the Moe, you summon out the token here. Here we see uh, the effect being activated over hard to add back the Moe, then going into the Baxia here. You know, not spinning anything, but dumping the Adhara because Taya was used. My bad. I'm keeps. I messed up. It's not Adhara. It's Ashuna, and Ashuna earlier was Adhara. And here we're going to see a scoop there. Anti spell fragments being drawn, and that's GG's. We see a two from Sword Soul, but hopefully, Exorcist will run it back. After Pote.